We're here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014 in Busan in the Republic of Korea, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Luis Fernando Borjón Figueroa, who is the Commissioner for the Federal Institute of Telecommunications in Mexico. Mr. Borjón Figueroa, thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks to you. Now, this plenipotentiary conference comes at a challenging time for the ICT industry. It's at a time of great opportunity, but also at a time where issues like financing new network capacity is becoming critical. In a fast-evolving environment, what do you think needs to be done to ensure that everyone gets the access they need? Well, I think that there has to be a strong commitment from every one of the countries towards developing the sort of networks. For instance, in the case of Mexico, we have been having a structural reform in telecommunications that has establish clear goals to develop a new network, a new wholesale network based on the 700 megahertz band to encourage and foster competition and development of new competitors. This will be a public-private partnership that is uh, going to be run by, by the government and going to be seeking uh, a new partner from the private sector to do so. We, as a regulator, have been created with a constitutional level to guarantee that this will be done in a neutral fashion, meaning that whilst the government is intervening to foster this new network, we will guarantee that this will be done unbiased, meaning in a neutral fashion. I think this is a way to go on doing these sort of projects with this strong commitment from the country. And what are the priorities of Mexico in the next four years to the next planet potentiary? Well, right now we're in the middle of the TV transition. I guess everybody's running through that project. We are seeking to finish uh, the transition by the end of 2015. That is one priority. Another one is we need to change the conditions for competition. We have been implementing asymmetric, uh, asymmetric rules for, for that matter with uh, what we call the preponderant player. There are some other goals, uh, as I mentioned, on fostering the development of a wholesale network. We are as well reorganizing the spectrum to provide new opportunities for competition, as well as uh, running through the challenges on, on going to the least developed regions of, of the country, while seeking new opportunities for broadband in the future. Of course, another part that is uh, uh, very important is to consolidate this new independent regulator that we are, the Federal Institute of Telecommunications, as a guarantee to regulate telecommunications and broadcasting and every competition issue that deals with that. Can you tell us a little bit about the progress and the goals of the wholesale network in Mexico and how this will foster competition and network access? Yes, this is a project that was established at the Constitution. It's a very important way to try to go deeply into more broadband penetration. We are using the capacity of the 700 megahertz band, 90 megahertz of this band, to implement a project uh, with a national basis of coverage. We are seeking coverage of 98% of the population, and this network has to be operated by 2018. Uh, right now, we're in the, middle of, in the middle of developing the basis together with the executive power. The executive power is going to be doing the project and the public-private partnership. We will seek that these bases are neutral on the competition basis, and the project will begin for the auction probably by the beginning of the first quarter of 2015. So you're optimistic for the future of telecommunications in Mexico then? Absolutely, and that's the reason that we, we have just raised our contribution to the ITU. We believe that the ITU is the right forum to discuss these issues, to go into broader ICT's uh, uh, penetration to the public, better services, better opportunities for economical growth. Mr. Borjón Figueroa, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thanks to you.